Hey friends, whether you are new to Birmingham or whether you are a local that just wants to get out and explore your city, we have five landmarks that you are going to want to check out in the Magic City. The first stop on your Birmingham tour is Vulcan Park and Museum. This is a 56 foot tall, 60 ton cast iron statue of Vulcan. It overlooks the city of Birmingham and has since the 1930s. It is a beautiful place to get out, enjoy some sunshine, and just see the magic city and get a little bit of a history lesson too. If you're an adult, the admission price is $6 and for children, $4. Stop number two on your Birmingham tour is Sloss Furnaces. This is a pig iron blasting furnace that operated from 1882 to 1971. It is now a historical landmark and you will want to go visit and look at the history and just understand the culture of Birmingham from that era. Um, Self-guided tours are absolutely free. Stop number three on your tour of Birmingham is the Birmingham Museum of Art. Founded in 1954, it has over over 29,000 paintings, sculptures, art pieces, and it is a beautiful place to visit in the city of Birmingham, and admission is absolutely free. Stop number four on your tour of Birmingham is the Alabama Theater. It is the show place of the South and has been since 1927. For 55 years, it was a movie palace. It has been restored and the architecture is beautiful. It is opulent and stunning. It is a place that you will want to check out. Um, depending on the event, the prices will vary. And stop number five on your Birmingham tour is the Birmingham Zoo. Built in 1955, it has 122 acres boasting 550 animals of 180 different species from six different continents. Admission for adults would be $20 and admission for children is $15. You will not want to miss checking out the Birmingham Zoo. These are the five historical landmarks in Birmingham, Alabama that you guys are going to want to check out. If you have favorite spots in Birmingham, let us know what they are. We are Mike and Brandy Brown with Keller Williams in Birmingham, Alabama, and we will catch up with you guys soon.